everybody to the art and crafty classes. Today what we're doing is we're decorating our wall hanging of the clown. Um, we're going to work on a nice dicky bow for it and later on we'll be putting in the hair and the hat and combining it all together. So what I'm doing today is again like that if you remember in the clown we did one half of collage and one half of paint. Okay, so I'm using an ordinary sketch pad A3 in size, A I've taken a sheet out from that, A3 in size, and I'm going to paint the whole thing just using the yellow paint. I'm using acrylic paint here today, but if you want to use ordinary water-based paint, add a little bit of PVA glue to it and it turns it into almost similar to acrylic paint. While that's drying, I'm going to take look after the, the cutting out of my circles to decorate my lovely bow tie that we're doing. Okay, now I, the, for the collage side of it, I'm just going to use lots of different sheets of coloured paper. I'm going to use two different um, size circles and we're going to um, draw around them simply. The next part of it here is we have our hat. Now one of the t-shirts I cut up the last day had these interesting stripes down the side. And I thought, oh, I'll use that. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to touch it up here. Now, I always think a little point is nice at the end. and it can stop the fabric from fraying. Now, what I also did for the sleeves, now we used the body part of the t-shirt in my lovely um, weave. So for the sleeve part of it, I just cut it up and I've made this. I just, it was a piece I just cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up and it, it'll, it's going to form part of the hair. I, my PVA glue, which I have here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come around here very nicely. Again, like this, it dries transparent. Now that'll need to dry. Again, don't worry about this because it'll dry transparent. Okay. So as you can see my as you can see my yellow sheet isn't completely dry so I've just taken out my blow dryer and I'm just drying it here. What I have is on the right hand side if you can recall is going to be all the collage side. So I have different, we just cut them up a minute ago, different um, coloured circles. I'm going to, and I'm going to stick them down very simply on this one here. Again, glue, paper, glue, the golden rule. 
and I'm just going to give one more layer of the glue just to strengthen the whole thing up. It gives it a great, um, it just strengthens really the, the paper up. Now we're going to come over here to the other side and again like that now I'm just going to use very simple um, decorative, I want to do odd. That's the great thing about my overall. I'm doing two different options here. Again, as we did in our lovely mask here, one side was all the paper mache and the other side was all the paint. So we have that. I'm going to show you another technique, spatter painting. All you need is the toothbrush, water and paint. So you dip the brush, the paint br or the toothbrush into the water, dip it into your paint and then spatter. Now you must flick it. a different toothbrush for each colour and it's a lot easier. And I have used all these lovely primary colours. You can use pinks, purples, whatever colour scheme you want. I will now leave it to dry. Now, again like that, I have two different options. Do you remember the last day? What we did was we painted one side and collaged the other side. I have, I showed you the last day how to do um, a, a nice tassel. And this, these are two extra tassels that I did the last day. And this is what I, with the leftover, the, the arms of one of the t-shirts. I, again like that it was a long strip and I cut in and cut in and cut in and got these two lovely shapes and it's going to add lovely texture to my hair. So I'm going to overlap, overlap and overlap that like an accordion, like an accordion, overlap, overlap, back and back. I'm going to staple it together. So that gives me um, a lovely tassel shape. I have a, a different one here. I'm going to, again like that now, put it together, a staple again. That bunches it together nicely for me. These are already, I have done with nice different textures and colors. It will, it will add to the hair. Now I've made my bunch. I'm putting. I'm going to staple it here, here. It didn't fully closed, so I'm just getting the edge of the stapler just to close it over and to close it over to make sure it sticks. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm also going to put a little bit of glue last of all to enhance that. But in the meantime, this is my other side, the other side. And again, like that, do you remember in the last video, we sponged all this um, wadding with different shades of red and orange.
Now, as you saw, I stapled both sides here. But for extra security, I'm just going to put on a wads of glue in here, all around here, because this will dry um, transparent and you won't even notice the glue. So I'm just going to put it in here, everywhere where I can just push the glue to make sure that that's all glued nicely for myself. And the glue is not watered down and at some times we water down the glue, but for this per particular purposes, no. Because you want it nice and thick to um, set and it to be very strong. And I'm, I'm, what I have is a nice piece of paper here. You can use old photocopy paper if you wish to. I'm just practicing the folding over of our dicky bow. Okay, so over, back, over. So that's basically what it's going to look like. Now I have two of these as well practiced, one with that and one here as well. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that. We will be stapling it now in a minute. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave that there. Now here we have the one that I did. We have my real one with our lovely collage on this side and painting on this side. So again like that now we're going to over, back, over, so we have our lovely shape of our dicky bow. We have our um, band here. I just have two different colours glued together and that now we're going to have a staple at the back here. I'm just going to staple that at the back. Okay. Now I have extra long, extra long for the attachment to the face. Now if you didn't want to do that and if you had similar to the uh, band I have in the hat, I have this one here as well and you can just put on that one and staple it here as well. Okay, so that's, that's our hat, or our dicky bow, sorry. Now, here's our head. We're about to attach, attach our dicky bow to our face. Remember I said we had a little bit left over. Again, like that, now you might need to get a little bit of help here, a little bit of help. I'm going to staple it here on either side. Now, I'm going to put a wad of glue here as well on this in a minute. Now, we have our hat. Now, I always think if we can at all, give it a little character, a bit of character, and have the hat at an angle. It just gives it a bit of fun, fun, fun to the whole thing. So, I'm at the back. Now, just to go recap, the square part of the shoebox. I've just bent it down. It has taken me a while to just keep over and back and over and back and bend it over and back. So you have it standing up like that. Now, again like that, now this is our hat that we did. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to staple the hat to this, the hat to that. More to one side. That's working perfectly there. Just again like that. Now I might just use the top of this to close off those staples. Now, so I'm going to put a wad of glue here. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put wads of glue here just to make sure. And even just in and around there to keep those in position if you wish to. Just a wad of glue just to make sure that it all sticks in the end, okay? Again, like that. Now, again, we're very lucky that it dries transparent. Okay. No, no. From here, 
I'm going to put the glue up here. I'm going to put the glue just in here. Now, I have it set up over here. Look at here. I have it set up over here so as we can prop it all up here. The blue box is weighting this and pushing it all together. So the wall here is pushing the hat down onto the face. And then this is stopping it from slipping. And it's pushing the dicky bow on here to keep it all. So it's all more or less been condensed to keep it together. Yeah. Now I just want to give it one more bit of glue. Just to make sure that I see a key point up here to make sure that it's, it's stuck there. Now... What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to leave it overnight for the whole thing to dry. And by tomorrow then it'll all be hopefully stuck. Yeah, okay, okay. So. so I'm concluding this part of the project. Hope you have enjoyed it.